In this video, we're going to import an IGIS file and then convert that IGIS file into a reliable solid using PowerShape's Solid Doctor. Click on File, Import, and then browse to the location of the file. In this case, it's simply on my desktop and it's called toycarsurfaces.ige. The import process takes a couple of minutes. When the import is finished, you will see a dialog that shows you what has been imported and how many lines there were in the file and whether the translation is completed. In this case, it's telling us that it imported 537 objects. To find more detail about those, simply select them all and then click on the information button. And this will tell you exactly what has been imported. In this case, 537 separate surfaces. Of course you don't always want to view the part straight down Z. Uh, you can view in any, any orientation you wish. So click on the view tab and now you can view from the top, from the right, any of the isometric views and so on. You can also rotate the view interactively. Press and hold down the middle mouse button and then simply drag the cursor and the view will rotate. To zoom, scroll using the middle mouse wheel. To pan, press shift, hold down the middle mouse button and then just drag the view around the screen. The next step is to convert all of these surfaces into a single solid. S select just by dragging a box with the left mouse button and then click the solid tab. At the left hand side is the option to create a solid from selected items, in this case surfaces. This will take a few seconds, but PowerShape is joining all of the surfaces together into a single solid, and then it is checking the integrity of that solid. In this case, there is one surface that is too small to be included in the solid. And that's OK. We can just ignore it. But PowerShape asks now if we want to fix the faults in the solid using the Solid Doctor. Note that this is only a recommendation. It's not compulsory. But we will go through the process so that you understand how it is done. Click Yes to launch the Solid Doctor. The Solid Doctor will check the integrity of the solid and then display any faults in a simple to understand categorized list. So you can see now we have some overlapping surfaces, we have some gaps and we have some holes. I'm going to zoom in on the gap fault at the front on this boss and click to isolate just that fault. PowerShape gives me the option of an automatic repair and also several different ways in which I could fix that particular issue. Which I choose is entirely up to me. For the first one, I will simply say yes, an automatic repair. Because the automatic repair 
for gaps and holes is to re-intersect the surrounding faces. Fairly clearly, by re-intersecting this face, this face, and this one, we will fill that gap. But that is not always the case. If we come to this hole, for example, and do the automatic repair on that, although it has fixed the fault, that's probably not a desirable solution. So we can undo. Reselect that particular fault and the second in the list, which is the gap or hole on surface 352. And what we're going to do now, instead of using the automatic repair, is we're going to fill that gap with non-tangent faces. And again, those faults have been repaired. At the front of the part, we can see that there is a hole at one side and also an overlap on this side. If we zoom in to the area where we have the overlap, you can select just the small patch surface. And what has happened here is that the trimming has been reversed for some reason during the import process. And on the other side of the part, which is an exact mirror, the same surface is missing entirely. The Solid Doctor allows us to extract surfaces and edit them. So I'm going to extract this surface and go into edit mode. You can see that the main solid is now drawn transparent, but the surface I have selected is drawn solid. And it's much clearer now exactly what is going on. Click on Manage and then open the Trim Region Editor. This allows direct access to the trim curves on the surface itself. In this case, all that is wrong is that the trim boundary is the wrong way round. Click the Reverse Boundary button to change the orientation of the trimming. If necessary, you can actually completely re-trim a surface if you need to. So this surface now needs to be copied across onto the other side of the part. That's a simple mirror operation. Click the Edit tab, click Mirror, and then choose which axis you want to mirror about, in this case, ZX. So now we have two new surfaces created. Drag a box around both of those surfaces. It doesn't matter if you include the solid as well. And then click the tick on the Doctor Edit button. And what that will do is to sew those two surfaces back into the solid. We can now do a recheck to see the current status of the repair and if there are any problems that we still need to address. In this case, there is just one fault remaining, which is a gap fault. And it's very likely that this is where that small surface that was too small to include uh, would be found. What we can do now, because this is simply a flat surface that goes into this region, we can delete that surface. That will leave a hole. Select the hole and now choose fill with non-tangent surface. That fault has been repaired. And we can now recheck the solid.
all faults with the solids have now been repaired and we can move on to the next stage. To save your work so far, click File, Save As, and we're going to call this Toy Car Surfaces underscore Stage 1 and save.